bride to be dresses down again in a khaki trench and jeans and bath, so that her big day dress reveal appears even more glamorous. She's been sticking to a simple uniform of black trousers and coats in earthy neutral shades for her royal engagements with Prince Harry. And it seems that Meghan's understated dress code could be a deliberate strategy to ensure her big wedding dress reveal has even more wow factor on 19th May. The bride-to-be stepped out with Harry today to watch Invictus Games hopefuls training in Bath, wearing a low-key khaki trench coat from Canadian brand Orizia and boot get mother jeans. Celebrity stylist and designer Lucas Armitage told Female, it not uncommon for brides-to-be to play things low-key in the run-up to the big day. With her usually high fashion game showing signs of wavering, even more anticipation is building for the wedding. However, Meghan made one concession to glamour by wearing heels. Whilst most may opt for flats in a sporting outing Meghan can't be without her beloved court shoes, Lucas said. I feel a flat show would have been a more suitable option for this occasion. Flats are having a moment right now and I'd love to see Meghan tap into this. So far. Meghan has resisted the temptation to go full princess style, eschewing the prim shift dresses and nude heels beloved of fellow royals such as the Duchess of Cambridge. Instead, she has curated a wardrobe of smart casuals including tailored trousers and blouses in neutral colors, which she teams with understated coats. The former actress surprised royal watchers by shunning an evening dress for the Endeavour Fund Awards in February instead opting for an Alexander McQueen two-piece for her first evening event with Harry. The bride-to-be has also worn trousers on five out of her eight royal engagements with Harry, even donning skinny jeans for her first official visit to Wales. Today the couple are joining Invictus Games hopefuls as they try out on the athletics track and field, before meeting those taking part in the indoor sitting volleyball trials. The UK team trials are being run by Help for Heroes with support from the Ministry of Defence, the Royal British Legion and the Endeavour Fund, and will be hosted at the University of Bath over four days. They will see more than 400 military personnel and veterans compete for one of the 72 places available on the UK team. This year, 45% of UK team hopefuls have never applied for an Invictus Games before, highlighting the legacy of London, Orlando, and Toronto. The U.S. actress was fresh from a few days in Los Angeles with her mother, Doria Ragland, over the Easter weekend, when she caught up with friends and chatted about plans for her May 19 wedding. The Invictus Games is the only international sport event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veteran. Their aim is to use the power of sport to inspire recovery support rehabilitation and generate a wider understanding and respect of all those who serve their country.